Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas day number 24. It is Christmas Eve officially and I'm just having breakfast. I made myself a shake but I put it in a Santa mug this morning because I figured that that was more festive. Mm. It actually makes me think of peppermint hot chocolate which I wanted to have but we haven't had a candy cane in this house all Christmas. Apparently mum got one and we were looking around last night and I couldn't find it anywhere. So maybe today if I go to the shops, I'm going to buy a couple of candy canes so I can at least make peppermint hot chocolate. This morning I've just gotten dressed and I am just going through comments from my last videos. Actually, I had two go up last night, so I have to go through both of those. And emails and just like the normal, you know, when you wake up first thing in the morning, get on your phone and have to go through and check everything. <laughs> I'm reading through the vlog comments from last night and so many of you guys are curious about that milky foot thing. I promise to let you guys know how it goes. I probably won't include photo or video of my feet peeling because it's probably disgusting and gross but I'll let you know if it works. Someone also asked where that brown bucket bag was that I showed in yesterday's vlog. That was from Sports Girl and I kind of want to go back and get it. I might wait until the Boxing Day sort of sales and see if it goes on sale and then maybe get it because it was quite nice and a decent size as well, not too big, not too small. What else is it saying? So many of you mentioned that my voice is calming, which I think is, I get that a lot, not just on vlog videos, but on my normal videos as well. And it's, it's really strange to me because I just feel like my voice is my voice. And I'm like so worried now that I'm going to put you guys to sleep with my calming voice. But if you would like it and you can stand listening to it, then I'm just going to go with it. Art Nerd also asked me about what breed my cat is. My cat, I don't actually know. We had next door neighbors who probably weren't the best pet owners and they had a cat who um, they have, hadn't desexed and it got pregnant and had three kittens. And one of those kittens is Seeker. Then um, two of those were girls, obviously Seeker and another one. And they ended up having kittens before we got Seeker. She had a round of kittens as well. And then I don't really know what happened to all of them. They took some of the cats with them when they, they moved. It wasn't at this house. It was at our old house. So we eventually kind of just adopted Seeker because they didn't take Seeker um, or her brother with her. And we tried to look after both of them, but the brother ran away. We kept Seeker and had her desexed and um, sort of made sure that she was all okay. And now she's our cat. But I don't actually know what brand she is. She'd be a Heinz variety of a couple of different cats. But she's ours and she's cute. She's quite small. Like, she's fully grown now. I think she's, like, she'd have to be four years old at least. Um, and that's her size. So she's she's a small cat, but I don't actually know what breed of cat she is. I think if there's anything else here I could answer. Somebody asked me about the rose gold clock on my bookshelf. It's from Target, although they don't sell that exact type anymore, that one up there. They now sell it with a... Um, marble front which still looks really really nice as well it's part of the lisa t for target range here in australia okay and i think that's pretty much it for our q a session this morning i'm back sitting on the floor at my little wrapping station here because i've got the few last minute gifts to wrap my mum's vouchers and my dad's kris kringle present and a little thing for my sister i think i'm actually going to use this mecca box and put the vouchers um in that so mom can't tell exactly what it is and then i should be completely done with wrapping. If anything else comes up today for some random reason, it's going in a bag. <laughs> I'm finally making use of the Apple Music too. I'm going to play the Michael Bublé Christmas album. Even though I've got it on CD, for some reason it's not loaded into my iTunes. So we're going for a little bit of Michael Bublé. If it will work. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Done. I'm just packing up the wrapping paper and I realized that by chance if some of you guys don't know this it may change your life 
if you cut like a toilet paper roll and wrap it around your wrapping paper, it holds it together. I know it is like the most obvious thing in the world, but I remember when I first found out about this, I was like, oh my gosh, that's life changing. How did I not know about this? So if for some reason you didn't know, toilet paper rolls are awesome ways to hold your wrapping paper together. It is a lot easier when you have two hands, but you just pop it around like that. And then if you need to, if it's a bit small, you can always just put a little bit of tape across there and you're good to go for next Christmas. <laughs> it's the little things that I was still like, this is the best thing in the world. So there you go. Even though it's Christmas Eve, the postman is still working and I just got a package from Zoeva. So I thought we could open it up together. Beauty lights and they have really nice, um, I don't know, packaging in boxes. Ooh. The Spectrum Collection, what does it say? Dear Rachel, we are delighted to announce the launch of our Spectrum Collection derived from the most beautiful ethereal wonders of the universe. Worships colour, radiant bursts of endless hue, blush palettes for all skin types and unlimited makeup looks. Thanks, Zoeva. Let's, let's see. Ooh, ooh, there's a brush in here too. What is this? Oh, that's an interesting shape. Look at that. It's like got a... It is a... 130 Lux Contour Definer. That is an interesting shape brush. I'm going to have to play around with that. Ooh, there's a little... What's this? Oh, it's a 2016 calendar. That's awesome. I actually really, really like that. Like plain black. I could just like, have it hanging in my room somewhere. Maybe even just on the side here so I could see it when I need to or somewhere. I don't know. That's cool. Okay. And then, oh, it's heavy. I don't want anything to break. Oh, there's more brushes hiding under here. That's a nice looking brush. This is the Lux Powder Fusion. That looks like it would make an awesome like highlighter brush or something like that. And then we have a really teeny tiny, what's this? The Lux Petite Pencil Brush. Pretty. Okay. Um Okay. Oh, I love the packaging. The black with the rose gold. Straight, straight to my heart. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I love those neutral tones on like a suntan skin, skin at summer. So pretty. I think there's some matte, some um, shimmers there. So that's the nude spectrum. Oh, that makes sense. And then we've got coral spectrum. Come on. Oh, look at that. So pretty. And then what are these? These are eyeshadow palettes. I just opened them up. This is the nude spectrum eyeshadow palette. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? This color here. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. We have a mixture of some mattes and some shimmers. And I like that there's a matte, a matte, a matte, and a matte. So you've got like your range of mattes. So you could actually do like your full eye look. And then you've got, oh, there's a mid-tone brown there as well. Awesome. And then you've got some really pretty like shimmery colors. And then in this one, this one is a bit more fun for those of you who like a little bit more color. This is the warm spectrum, I believe. Yes, warm spectrum. So you've got some lighter shades, some darker shades, some plummy tones. I love those. So look at that. If you have blue eyes, that color would be amazing on you. And you've still got your matte black and your matte kind of neutral shades so that you could sort of have something to blend in your crease. Well done, Zoeva. I don't know. I just think that looks really sleek and professional. That was a really nice little early Christmas present. Thank you so much, Zoeva. I totally was not expecting that. When the postman came, I actually thought it was for my sister because I don't have any parcels that I'm waiting on anymore and I thought that she did. So I was kind of shocked when the doorbell rang. Mum ran downstairs and usually I do because I feel bad because they're pretty much always my packages. But I didn't think it was me this time and I was up here. But yeah, thank you. I'm just in the car with mum. She has just stopped to put petrol in her car, doing the, the horrible adult task of that. And we're gonna quickly go to the shops. Mum just wants to have a look around and we kind of need to go to Woolies and get a couple of things for, I don't know, some for like 
that we're going to make for lunch tomorrow to take with us to my uncle's house which is where we're having Christmas lunch tomorrow as well as maybe something for breakfast tomorrow morning we don't usually do much but I was thinking maybe we could get some croissants or something just to have while we open presents or after we open presents and yeah, I've just stopped at the P.O. box on the way here as well. And there were so many packages. I don't know where they came from. You guys were with me. I checked the P.O. box twice recently and there'd been nothing. And then all of a sudden there was so much. So when we get home, we can open up the P.O. box packages together. But I know that I have a letter here. So if that is your letter, I haven't opened it yet. But thank you very much. I love the decoration already. It's so festive. Back again for the last time. Fingers crossed. Currently trying to clothes shop for dad. It's always difficult. <laughs> Sizing for guys is just so hard. <laughs> they are nice, but I don't mind them. They're just comfy, casual. You can show off some leg. <laughs> you want to talk about short? Look at these. They're short shorts. They look like boxes. I think they're actually to wear out. They're wear out shorts for any guy. So maybe you could get. One of those. Dating that colour. Yeah. I don't think you're getting any of the other patterns. Probably not. Look at this one. Oh yeah. I like that. Do you reckon he'd wear casual shorts like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> those are kind of laces or not laces? I reckon not laces. I just had a mini heart attack because we were in Woolies and I checked in my bag and could not find my phone. And I was just hoping that during our pit stop we'd come and put some bags in the boot that I'd maybe left my phone in one of my bags and thankfully I had. It was in the typo bag so crisis averted. I was just so worried that somebody pulled my, my phone from my handbag while I was walking around. I thought, oh my goodness, it would be the worst thing to have happen at Christmas time, but it's okay. Mum just ran back in to um, get one last minute thing from Woolies, and I think we're going to head home because I am so hungry. It's almost two o'clock, and I haven't had anything by the shake today, so thinking some food is definitely in my future. We just got back home, and when I said there was a crazy amount of packages at the PO box, look at all that. I don't know where that all came from or who they're from, but I'm excited to see. It is really like Christmas has come early. So I'm going to open them up in a second. I'll show you guys what's there. I have some yummy leftover mac and cheese from yesterday, which might not look appealing, but when you're hungry, pasta and cheese sounds amazing. The only thing I picked up today from the shops is this dress from Dottie which is just like a shift dress, kind of like patterned. I don't know, I wasn't necessarily attracted to it at first, but I tried it on and it didn't look too bad. And I was just thinking that I don't really own any dresses that are like not dressy dressy, but also not just casual at home dresses. Like I was thinking about what am I going to wear to church tonight? And I don't have anything. So this is kind of what I've got. I've got like things like what I'm wearing today, which is like a, just a strappy kind of cotton summer dress, but I don't have like that in between. I find it really hard and I hate dresses like this because of the straps like I love them but I hate not being able to wear a normal bra it drives me nuts so um, that is all I picked up um, from the shops today and it was only like 19.95 so that wasn't too bad and then we got a couple of gifts and some gifts from my dad and um, something from my sister from my mum but all in all it was good it wasn't too crowded or anything and I just think it's nice to be I don't know, I know that shopping is a very commercial element of Christmas, but sometimes it's just nice to be around people and hearing the carols and seeing all the Christmas decorations. Like some people would find the idea of going to the shops on Christmas Eve like crazy, thinking it's so busy, but it wasn't actually that busy. The only places that were busy were the supermarkets, which is to be expected because everyone's like stocking up for Christmas lunch and Christmas dinner and get togethers and stuff. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat my food and then we will try and open up these and see what is inside. I'm excited. <laughs> Now that I've got some food in my stomach and I've had a drink, I can think straightly. Let's find some scissors and see what we have inside this array of boxes and bags. I've just opened up all the packages and I think I'm going to cry because I wasn't sure whether they'd be like PR packages. I just assumed that they were, but they look like they're gifts from some of you guys, which is just... 
like the sweetest thing I would just never expect that ever and I've just opened up this letter from a girl named Rachel and oh my goodness it is so beautifully decorated and what you've written is so kind I just I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to write me a letter and to decorate it with the colored pens too I remember having colored pens as like a kid and I haven't had them like in high school I haven't had them since high school and I just oh my goodness and then and this one here I have a card which I love the card by the way um, from Matthew from Ireland and I think he sent me this water bottle which like I, I can't even it's just crazy so let's open it up and try and do this one here. oh my gosh it's rose gold he sent me a rose gold water bottle oh my goodness look at this it's one of the swell water bottles I've heard of these before but I've never had one myself look at that isn't that beautiful oh my thank you so much Matthew I can't believe that you organized have you sent to me and you're from Ireland that's just that's amazing and then I have this one here which is a box of roses <laughs> Which I love so much. These are my favorite, favorite chocolates ever. And and then like a roll of bubble wrap, which I love too because I actually love bubble wrap. And I'm sure that wasn't on purpose, but I'm going to totally have so much fun popping that. And there's a little card here. It says to be inspired is great. To inspire is incredible. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. This is just amazing. Thank you so much, Tanya. I will read your card, but I just... Thank you so much for the chocolates. That was just so, so nice. Oh, she's been participating in Vlogmas as well. I will definitely, when I finally have time to be watching Vlogmas videos, um, I will will come find your Tanya, your um, channel Tanya so I can check out your Vlogmas videos as well. Thank you, thank you so much. And for the roses, that's just the best. And then I have this one over here, which... Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a rose gold candle. Oh, thank you. I don't know who this is from. Thank you, Daniela. I really hope you guys don't mind me opening these on um, the video. I just, I didn't realize that they were going to be like gifts from you. And I'm just so, so touched that anybody would even like think to do this. It's just crazy to me. It says, I hope your Christmas sparkles. Oh, thank you so much, Daniela. I appreciate it so, so much. I'm going to keep that because it's got your address so I can write back to you. Okay, and then there's one at the back here, which looks like wrapped Christmas presents. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm going to save these and open them. Oh, there's something in the card. Oh, and something smells really good too. I know that you guys can't smell this, but I can... I don't know what that scent is, but I can definitely smell something. <laughs> I'm about to open up this little letter, but look if you can see. Ah, oh, it's filled with little hearts. Isn't that adorable? Okay, this, this gift is from Rebecca, who has written me such a beautiful letter and has put some Christmas gifts in. I cannot wait to open them. I'm going to save them until tomorrow morning so I can um, open them on Christmas morning. But thank you so, so much. And that wrapping is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I love... Oh, look at the little penguins. Isn't that so cute? Thank you so much, Rebecca. I really, really appreciate it. The, oh, my God. I'm actually going to cry. <laughs> And I can't because I've got winged eyeliner on and I, I can't smudge the winged liner. Um, these are actually from someone who did contact me. I believe that she's got her own business where she's making uh, pillows. And I was really, really intrigued because they're made with recycled materials, which I think is just amazing. So I'm going to pull these out of the bag so I can show you guys. The first one I have here, look at that. It's like a marble look pillow and it's beautiful and it's like got a zipper cover. It's amazing and I'm pretty sure that the stuffing that they use is from like recycled bottles or something as well. I think that's such an amazing thing and to actually start your own small business, I'm so impressed and inspired. These are so, so beautiful. Thank you so much. The quality looks amazing. It's H by H. The brand i know she has an etsy store so i'm going to put a link to her etsy store in the description box for you guys so if you guys want to check out 
some of her stuff. I can't wait to put these on my bed. Like, I love that. It's such a nice print. And to know that they're, like, printed and, um, like, filled with recycled product is just, it's awesome. Here we are. So, the brand is H by H Cushions, um, homemade by Harriet. So, the Etsy store is um, H by H Cushions. And there's a Facebook and an Instagram and a Twitter. Definitely go check her out. I think it's amazing. I think she's based in South Australia, but... Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I just wanted to say a massive thank you. When I when I went to the PO box today, I didn't even actually expect for anything to be there. I just thought I should check it once before Christmas because then the post office will probably be closed for the next few days. And when I got there, there was two cards in the box and I thought, okay, something little has come. I thought maybe it was a PR thing like that Zoeva thing that I got earlier today. And then I got a couple of packages and then they brought out three more. And then we we're at the car and they're like, wait, 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 we've got another two more for you to, to get that and to have you guys take the time to buy me things, which I obviously love and to write me cards and send me letters is just, it is the sweetest thing. And you've got to know that you've had such an impact on my life. I know I get a lot of comments of people saying that they like watching me each day and that they feel like I'm their friend. Well, I feel like you guys are my friends too. And just to to do something like that like i would never expect that and i don't want any of you any of you who've just watched my videos this vlogmas or have left me a comment you have my heart 100 percent. but like for some of you to feel that you just went that extra step is just it's it's so amazing and so i thank you so much for that i really appreciate it i feel so incredibly lucky right now this is going to be such a long rambly vlog and i'm sorry but i just I can't believe that there's all those packages there. It's crazy. I'm just finishing getting ready for church. My mum and I are going to go soon. I'm um, going meet my sister there. My dad doesn't really come to church. He's not really a church kind of person. Um, I thought I would quickly show you my little outfit of the evening so you could see that shift dress that I bought from Dotty on. So I think it looks okay. I don't know. I'm not usually a shift dress person because I feel like they can look too boxy, which isn't always the most flattering, but I just have that on and I have a little necklace, which I'm borrowing from my sister from witchery. And then just some little nude heels, which I picked up in the States from, I think it was TJ Maxx actually, the Bendolino, I think the brand is. I don't know. They're really cute and comfortable. And then I just have my um, Monica Vinita ring on and my nails are still white, which I'm actually quite liking. I know they kind of look a little bit like um, liquid paper or white out nails, but I don't know. I'm still kind of just enjoying the fresh white look. I left my hair straight because to be honest, I just couldn't be bothered. I need to, to, to wash it tonight. I just put a little bit of a, a curl to the end of it purely because it really needs a haircut and the ends are kind of ratty. And then on my face, same makeup and then I just added my Charlotte Tilbury Walk of Shame lipstick which is definitely my favorite new sort of red of the year. I love it. Just came home from church. It was a nice mass. All the little kitties dressed up and did the whole nativity scene thing. Then we took a photo in front of the tree and I wanted dad to be here but he is out visiting his sister. So we'll have to get one later in our pajamas in front of the tree I think. It's looking very pretty. Very pretty. I have some cookies baking and we have Frozen on TV, which is technically not a Christmas movie, but I find it really festive. It's festive enough for me. I love it. I got my um, Polaroid camera out as well, which I don't use anywhere near as much as I should. Um, so we could take some photos later when my dad and my sister get home and mum and I took a selfie. I just, I love the idea of instant photos. I feel like, it, I know it's old school, but I just, I really like it and I feel like it's like a nice tangible memory, especially since I spend, take, take so many photos, but hardly ever get any printed out. <laughs> Yum. We left dad prepping the potato salad and Kirsten's at a Christmas party, so mum and I are going to go look at some Christmas lights. They're making snow. There's snow, or as close as snow to you get that you get in Australia in summer at Christmas time. Isn't that cool? 
the dedication we have for Christmas lights standing here under an umbrella. It's okay. It's festive. It's basically snow. It's just unfrozen snow. Santa bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it was zoomed in a bit much, so it's more like beard bomb. <laughs> Here at the lights, this is Kirsten who watches my videos and this is actually her house or her parents house <laughs> and it is amazing, it is truly like spectacular, you would have seen it in the vlog for multiple years now because I've been coming here and that's how Kirsten realised that where I was and that I was coming here because she saw our house and recognised that it was your own house which yeah. is a good thing that you can recognise your own house in there but yeah they've been doing this for a very very long time and they raise money for what is it? for Bear Cottage Bear Cottage yeah so it's, it's a very good cause so if you are in the Indy Plains area you should definitely come check this house out because I come every year I love it so much <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Emerald Street. Yeah, you play. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, very cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I think we've come to the end of our second last Vlogmas of 2015. I hope you've had a great Christmas Eve and since it's likely that you'll be watching this on Christmas Day, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and get to celebrate with friends and family and people that you love. And even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I just hope you have a really great day. We're going to do the Vlogmas calendar now for the very, very last time. And... I don't know what it's going to be. I just looked at that and the, the day 11 was shut and I thought for a second I did I open the wrong day but it must have just, I don't know, blown shut, something like that. Let's look at it. Day 24. You know what? We started on dairy milk. We will probably end on dairy milk. I'm going to guess dairy milk. You guys guess as well. For the final time of 2015, it is... It is dairy milk. Shock horror. Yay. So we're ending on a good note. Got it right. I have no idea whether I beat the calendar or not, or whether it beat me. It probably beat me. I haven't actually been keeping score. So maybe I'll go back after the fact and look and check and see if I won. But that is it for today's vlog. It's been a very long one. So if you are watching this on Christmas Day and you've managed to drag yourself away from the food and the presents and your family, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this extra long vlogmas video. I'm gonna go, I have to still have a shower and wash my hair and edit tonight's vlog and get prepped for the morning for Christmas and it's already after 11.30 so I need to be asleep before Santa comes. So I'll see you guys all in the morning. Bye.